Hi folks, it's me again. I got another album for you. Now this one came out in 1970, okay? And it's got some songs on it that's gonna astound you because it astounded me, you know. Here we go. The first one on the list was written by Bert Bacharach. What better guy to write a song for you than Bert Bacharach? Well, this one is called I'm a better man, probably one of the greatest melodies you can ever you can ever listen to, and the lyric, of course, is unbelievable. But he always came up, he, you know, he was a genius. He came up with some great, great songs, all the time, not some of the time, all the time. You know, that was Bert Bacharach's uh, introduction into my life, and with this particular song, and he did make me a better man, you know, because my career did start to climb. Uh, a bit more and a bit more each year and uh, that's the reason I'm talking about these albums because I was with Decca for seven years in the first beginning of my career we, we made some fantastic fantastic albums you know uh, uh, and the producer that in those days was Peter Sullivan and he was a very very good man very good producer he made me sing in keys that I didn't want to sing in sometimes you know he'd make me sing in a higher key, higher key. So he said, You'd be recognized, your voice would be recognized in that range. So I had to do as people told me because you know, I was pretty green, you know, at the time, you know, as far as your business is concerned. And I, I, I wanted to be a success, so I, I followed people who had, you know, the, the intellect of, on, on how to make a hit. So, and he did know how to do that because he, I had several with him, you know. The second song on here, of course, was my friend. Uh, Glenn had this one gentle on my mind and so did my good buddy Dean Martin, you know. That's a great song, so people just flew at it. They, they wanted to record it right away and of course, so did I, so I put it on this album. Uh, I had no choice, I was told to. Just one of those things, you know. My early career was very much directed by, uh, you know, by people, Deco and uh, managers and, uh, and, and those sort of things and the agents, you know. Uh, but you see, if you, if you don't listen, you won't learn, you know? Uh, and uh, these people probably knew which way to take my career. And so they guided me in that respect. And you know what? I'm thankful for that. I really am thankful for that. The next song on this I'd like to talk about is Love Letters. Love Letters Sweet From Your Heart. And this was... Uh, uh, this arrangement was done by a very great arranger called Arthur Greenslade and uh, he'd done some fantastic arrangements for me in the past uh, and I'll talk about that in one of my other albums too. Some great songs here, another great song of time for us, remember that one? Oh, you wonder how I remember all these lyrics, do you? You th you th these, uh, these melodies, well I do, I recorded them. But to have the memory of, of trying to uh, remembering each and every one of his is, is, is quite an achievement. Didn't we? What about that song? I, I did that in that special. Jimmy Webb wrote that song, yeah. And besides uh, MacArthur Park. I never recorded MacArthur Park, but I did record, didn't we? I got to meet Jimmy, he's a lovely man. Uh, and, but one of the songs I love on this album was I Wish You Love. Now. When I was in Paris one time, I, I was sitting, I was sitting, excuse me, my phone's ringing. Hang on a second, let me just find out who it is. Okay, I can, I can I'll, I'll call later. Can you put this on the top there somewhere? Sorry. No, I wish you love. There's a story attached to this one. Is, what was his name? Is it, is it Charles Rene? He wrote the song. And I was sitting in a restaurant in Paris, you know, with a friend of mine. His name is Frank Namani, as a dear friend of mine. And uh, he said to me, Frank said to me, he said, uh, you know who's sitting next to the, the guy who wrote I, uh, I Wish You Love? I, I said, it, that's him? It's a great song, you know? So Frank says, why don't you sing a few bars in this room and see, see it. Place is packed with people, I can't, I, what am I gonna do? Uh, you know. Uh, I wish you bluebirds in the spring. And I started to sing it, you know. A uh, 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 colavoce, which means without music. I, I belted it out and 
he was watching me from the net from the other room and it was quite exciting because afterwards I got to meet him and, and say hello and uh, uh, um, a man of that statue's written some great songs this guy who wrote uh, I wish you love but I sang it in a, in a restaurant in Paris and I and people were applauding me going crazy I thought, there I must be in show business you know but uh, I got I got great a great applause from the people in Paris French people are great with me I you know I do I do, um, I do some uh, shows and when I do some shows in, in France they're a great audience excuse the plane okay I told him not to take it out today and he's taking the damn thing out well I said I wanted cleaning leave it in the garage in the hangar leave it outside okay anyway um, I wish you love it was a great song I sang it and it did well. And uh, when I sing in Paris, you know, I told you, I told you, I've got a great audience over there, a great audience. They're lovely people. My next song I'd like to talk about is uh, uh, "All You Got to Do Is Ask." It, there's another song between that. It's called Aquarius. Of course, you all know Aquarius. It was in that. Was it in the show Hair? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. What a great song, you know, uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. But this sex song, all you got to do is ask. I'm going to put this song in my show because it's my life. It's the way I feel now. You know, because you, you guys have been terrific to me all, all my life. You know, and, and I owe you something. So, if there's anything you want to ask me, you know, just ask, and I'll try and oblige, like a song or something like that. You know. Uh, there's, there's little flies all the way in there bugging me, you know. You know, it's, it's my cologne. I love my cologne. Here's another song called The Science of Love. That's a great song. Uh, uh, and I'll move on to Cafe. Cafe was written by a, a friend of mine uh, when I lived in a ro uh, rock and roll house in, in uh, Cleveland Square. When I first started in the business, there was a lot of people in there that were big stars who lived in the same, this one ha the same house. And this guy lived in there and he wrote the song Cafe for me. And, he, and it's a, just a great song. You have a listen to it. Take a listen to it. Let's kiss tomorrow goodbye. That's a great song. That's another. And of course, Winter World of Love. And I have to, I have to tell you, Winter World of Love. Uh, uh, find a winter. It was warmer in December. Guess who wrote that song? Les Reed and Barry Mason. Okay. Now I'm talking about people, about songs that have, have been on most every album of mine that I've talked about so far. You know, those people are there. And, uh, but this album was 1970. And this one I did my special. I did a special in, in London. And I had some great guests on it, you know, many huge names you know uh, Jack Jones was one who was a lovely man and a great singer I remember all oh, the love boat he, he, he did that and then this Paul Paul Anke was one of my guests Ray Charles was one of my guests Roger Miller was another guest Oliver was one of the guests and Vanity Fair they were guests and then many many more major artists that came and did my show and that was uh uh, during the time of this album. See you next week. I try to be the best I can And try to understand Angel on my shoulder The earth beneath my feet I'm a lucky, lucky man